Okay, so uh, you guys decide, uh, so Prospero, you were checking on your family first, which they seem to be shaken, but fine. Uh, okay. I just want to like tuck in the kids, let the wife know where I'm going before I head out so that she's not super mad at me. Yeah. Well, she figured, like there was mention of some of you going to the Last Bastion Saloon. She figured she was probably going to go at home with the kids anyways at that point, and... Um, she says uh, she doesn't feel like she's really missing out on much, especially now when she just wants to stay at home <laughs> behind this closed, safe locked door. <laughs> okay, give her a peck on the forehead and tell her it won't be too long. Excellent. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, so uh, you guys end up heading towards the last bastion saloon, um, which is uh, for a drink, which is. I mean, there's other, like, small watering holes. You probably know one or two people that have their own stills that who knows what the hell they put in it. It could be motor oil, for all you know. Um, But it makes alcohol. But the Last Bastion Saloon's the only, like, legitimate alcohol establishment that you know of, at least in your block, in your area. And I am treating your... I'm, I'm treating your block almost like its own little dusty frontier town. So each block is sort of like I'm treating it almost like its own town type thing. Um, and yeah, so you go into the uh, Last Bastion Saloon. Uh, Mac Malone is the proprietor and owner and wise ass that somehow started the Last Bastion Saloon. Um, there are other people in there, uh, including um, several Yakuza, uh, which is surprising. You haven't seen them in here in a long time. Uh, but there's a lot of miners and locals in them as well. It's it's a very large establishment. It's like a several floor uh, saloon with a couple of bedrooms off to the side for perfectly legitimate sleeping reasons. Um, so you're just going to, uh, are you just going to go up to like a random, uh, just find a random table or are you going up to the bar or what, what are you guys going to do while you're here? I'm going to check out the tattoos on those Yakuza before heading to the bar. Just, uh, subtly, just going to try to catch a glance. Okay. Um, as you enter the bar and you try to catch a glance of them, um, you actually recognize the one that you let go as one of the Yakuza sitting there little beat up, little dusty, although it looks like he's cleaned up a little bit. Um, and the others, uh, I mean, he's still shirtless, like the, the ones that were in that fight, but uh, many of the others are in nicer attire. But you can see little bits of their tattoos poking out, also sort of with a, a dragon motif going on. Okay. Is there a booth open? Sure, yeah, there'd be a booth open. Yep. I'll grab that for the table and wait for the other guys. Okay. I would join them. All right. um, facing towards the door, if possible. Yeah, well, it's it's not facing directly, but you can see the door if you choose the, the proper seat. One seat would face away from the door, one one bench seat would face towards. Yeah, I'd sit on whatever one face in the general direction of the door. Okay. Dwayne will take the one that doesn't face the door. He doesn't care at this point. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so when I'm at the bar, um, I'll pay for the first round. Okay. Not a problem. Um, there's no money system or anything. And just a round, I'm not going to make you roll resources for a round of drinks. It's assumed you're you're going to have at least enough for that. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll order it. Uh, somebody's going to bring it by, I, I, I guess. But uh, when I get back to the bar, I'll say, well, this is what overtime pays for. I got the first round, guys. Thanks. No, you're welcome. Now, you guys, uh, part of part of why you guys were getting together was sort of decide uh, how you're going to. You wanted to set up some sort of defense force. You weren't sure what you're going to call yourselves, or you're like the sheriffs, or just like you know tactical defense force or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was part of why you wanted to get together was to discuss how you're going to do this. Whether it's just going to be you guys, or you're going to get other people in like a neighborhood watch, basically. So um, that's probably mostly why you're here at the moment. Yep. 
I pull out my notebook that has like probably three or four random names that we had come up for that are all just all crossed out. We have like the the asteroid warriors and like just really corny names and they're just all kind of scratched out and I have just like this empty line. Pull out my pen, just kind of listen. Okay. So, we're still stuck on a name. Well, in my opinion, the name can come later. But first, we got to decide how we're going to do things. Because, while well, killing a man in combat is one thing, as Steven so rightly put it out. Killing a man after the fight, and he's already been captured and unarmed. That's something else entirely. Now, I'm not saying that those bastards today didn't deserve what they got. But I don't necessarily know if uh, burying a knife in their neck joint was uh, exactly uh, won us any friends. Uh, Yeah, you're probably right about that. But, uh, I mean, like I said before, I don't don't think... uh, I don't think that the, we should place a, a, the kind of burden like that on their shoulders quite yet. Not until we've really established ourselves. Well, and that's that's just it. I mean, if we're not gonna, if we're not willing to make them a part of the the decision process, then that means we have to take the mantle on ourselves, which means we need to decide. We need to make a chain of command. That's how I'm used to working. That's how almost every place works. Somebody's got a boss, and somebody's got somebody under them. That's the way people understand things. Now, Buck stops with the boss, but shit rolls downhill. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry about that. It, it won't happen again. But the way I'm hearing it, it sounds like you want to be some sort of lawman, is that right? I'm saying we need something, and, uh... You know, people gotta have somebody they can look to and point at, and when trouble comes rolling through the streets, someone who they can shout out to. And, I mean, shouting out to, you know, the bumblefuck protectors of Founders Ridge, that's a that's a bit long-winded. That's true. What you're saying sounds like a lot like we'd be targets. We need to make friends and... Oh, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. Not everything needs to be handled at the end of a knife. I mean... There's, there's plenty of ways to plenty of ways to solve problems without putting holes in people. Hmm. But when it comes time to put holes in people, we got to know where we stand on that. I don't even mean the violence. I just mean being somebody. If we say we're defending Founders Ridge, the elements that we've just dealt with might be a problem for us. Oh, agreed. Agreed. Which is why we are discussing what we are discussing. I'm well. So how how does uh, how does our new friendship with the yakuza sit on everyone's uh, shoulders there? What friendship? Uh, budding friendship, maybe. Well, in this particular instance, I guess an enemy of uh, my enemy is my friend is probably the best proverb to turn a phrase on I do not particularly the Yakuza as far as I understand them they have their own sense of doing things well honestly I don't know where we sit I feel like my ass is flapping in the breeze and I don't like that Agreed. I mean, Prospero here, he's got he's got a missus and little ones to protect. I personally don't 
really want to attract too much attention to myself for reasons of my own. But uh, if somebody needs to have a target painted on them, then, you know, to get things accomplished, then, well, I've took a I've took more than my fair share of uh, holes still walking. While you're talking about these things, uh, you notice, um, because you guys are obviously keeping a pretty good eye out in the local area, you do notice a couple of the Yakuza getting up from from their table and heading up towards closer to yours. As they get close to your table, they actually, or towards your booth, sorry, they actually um, grab one of the nearby tables and drag it over to beside yours, connecting the two tables together. Well, I put the notebook back in my bag. Your ears burning, boys? Uh, they stand silently on either side of the booth, while the rest of the Yakuza that were sitting at a different table come over to this one and join you in one large master. Oh. Uh, oh. Including one man who is in... Um, a very uh, Earth style business suit. Um, he a- Asian influence. Uh, you're not sure if he has any tattoos because of the suit itself. He's not fat, but he is definitely round, maybe slightly on the plump side, um, which is unusual to see for anyone that's lived here for any length of time. So either he's doing quite well for himself, or he's only recently come to the asteroid. Oh. As they move in to join us, just gonna raise my glass, gentlemen, to your health. Uh, they they raise their, um, they they got some drinks brought over. They raise theirs as well, you know, uh, say compai, and uh, slam back drink. Hope that means you all buy in the next round. Um, the man <laughs> sitting at the end of the table, um, the in the business suit, goes, of course. Um. Get them uh, whatever they want. On the ass. I am Mr. Kato. It's uh, good to meet you. Uh, well, we just recently learned of your uh, your presence, Mr. Kato. So uh, it's good to meet you as well. My uh, boys had a bit of an issue. In uh, your neighborhood, I am new to this uh, asteroid. Uh, come here uh, by my boss. He says uh, opportunity, but uh, so far he's shit a hole. I believe everybody's boss tells him that at some point. It's always been a shit hole, but it's our shit hole. Yes, true enough. Now is my home. Until uh, my boss uh, say I come uh, back uh, to Earth. You are but, definitely uh, a long way out, sir. You will seem uh, like a tough individuals. Seem uh, like you like your uh, uh, neighborhood. And you have helped one of my own. Something I will not forget. I am a man of honor. Would you uh, be interested in possibly, um, uh, not good at this, uh, interested in uh, a friendly relationship? Well, we're always interested in being friendly. What's that entail? That is good. I am not uh, asking you to uh, pledge yourself or anything uh, that may cause uh, issues with uh, other Yakuza, as well as uh, those other assholes. But uh, just uh, friendly. Uh, we uh, treat your town nice. We are here to, um, for different reasons than Oni clan. They are here for uh, smuggling, fighting, Things. We are here to um, assume legitimate uh, business uh, practices with the corporation uh, once they see the light. But we could use a place in uh, the uh, 
uh, how you say, uh, dirtier sections to call home in the meantime. Some friends in low places. Yes. And as we rise, we uh, bring you all with us. What How much you? of that rising is going to involve violence? Well, uh, uh, I, uh, I do not uh, like the much violence, if uh, if I can, but for negotiate, when I have many financial means to negotiate with, but sometimes the violence is the only way to knock sense into heads. Well, did you have a proposal, or is this just a night of celebration? Just a friendly introduction. Well, Say that uh, we are setting up a shop in uh, this uh, place of yours, and that we uh, would not like to be uh, opposing our forces if you'd have us. You can, of course, uh, disagree, but then you will not be our friends. I believe this goes directly back to what I was saying just moments before these gentlemen arrived. Yep. <laughs> yes, friends as always. No, that's it. So I kind of want to take a look this gentleman's eyes and try to get a read yeah. on if this is through kind of courtesy of I've seen what you can do I'm not sure what you can't do or if there's more of a I see what you can do and I kind of want your help okay all right uh, I'm gonna get you to roll an empathy for me to sort of read how he's saying it, how he's how he's going on. Mm. Okay, so um, at the moment you're not going to be picking much up, um, unless you would like to succeed at a major cost, no. um, or spend a fate point to do a reroll. No, I'm unsure. Okay. Um, between, I mean, you you yourself haven't dealt with a, a very large um, as much of it like an age, Asian presence. Not to mention, you know, it's sort of a darker area. You're just having a hard time reading his facial expressions. Plus, he seems fairly practiced and guarded at it. You're having the feeling he's he's used to hiding what or or masking what he's saying. It's not necessarily he has anything to hide so much as he just doesn't show anything. What is he? What is he wearing? Is he wearing a, a nicer, more expensive suit, or is it a, is it sort of run of the mill? Uh, it seems to be a fa uh, tailored three piece. Hmm. It looks like it's actually properly fitted to him. No, not something you generally see on this half of of the asp. Mm -hmm. Well, or but really uh, any half of the asp. I don't know about the rest of you fellas, but uh man comes over with his hands outstretched, he clasp it. I agree. Especially when he's showing both of them. Uh that is my boy. You are you are very friend. Just remember our primary concerns the people that live in Founders Ridge. Of course. Family is important. I myself have come with uh, two daughters. One son, but that is a different story. Uh, Johnny's ears are going to perk up at the sound of daughters. Okay. That, that desperate boredom is going to is going to perk up a little. Okay. Uh, you're guessing by his age. Um, just to give you a reference point, you're guessing he is probably. It's hard to tell with Asians because they stay young until they're not. But 
um <laughs> you're you're guessing he's probably at least mm, late late mid like he's probably approaching his 50s you're thinking okay it, it is hard to judge Uh, we uh, thank you for your uh, initiative in defending others. Uh, is this uh, is this uh, your job? It's a past time we've taken up. See, do not know uh, who the. Uh, people that are normally in charge of security are in this area. Um, is there an official capacity or are you it? Well, corpse don't tend to uh, care much about actual security this far down. I mean, they're always watching. But, uh, Official security. Uh, That's no one. <laughs> That's why we come together. Around here, family's got to look after family. Uh, in fact, see. in fact, that's part of why we were uh, sitting here today. And I'll just look around at everyone in case I'm saying something wrong. See, I'm a former military man myself, and uh, well, I just can't abide by. They're not being proper way of doing things, and I don't like seeing innocent folk get hurt, so I'm generally more than willing to throw myself in the wave. I understand. Uh, I, as I said, I do not want the violence if I can uh, help it. I am here to uh, assume legitimate businesses if uh, possible. Not like the other Yakuza that are here. I like you so far. I may have something you could uh, help me with that would uh, help you as well. I am set up to have a meeting with a particular uh, individual. Uh, that is uh, in uh, charge of a uh, corporation of Hygia. But he say no other Ayakuza are come with me. But he say nothing about locals are come with me. Uh, what That's do you funny. say you accompany me for meeting? Not just as security, but uh, eyes ears and knowledge of uh, of asteroid that I not have. We are to strike deal for lower block. One question, Mr. Kato. How does that help us? Ah, because uh, more uh, infrastructure, more economy, more items for these blocks if I take them as a place of my own prosperity to your home a place for my family as well as yours look at the other well well who's who's this meeting that uh, well who are you meeting with uh let me bring up his name because i forgot to do that it's a crazy player isn't it that's not Crazy Larry. Crazy Larry is probably outside the bar panhandling now. Ah, uh, Mr. John Richmond. John Richmond. Uh, could I make a resources role to know who that is 
as sort of a connections based? I will give it to you this time, yeah, because it's it's uh, it is connected. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Not normal, but sure. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you succeeded with style. Um, so what it is is that it's not a normal knowledge thing, but you do know like it is tied to the finances and obviously the corporation. Um, recently, that's. And sorry, I'm still getting to know your your characters. Um, okay, so your pi- mining pilot, you've probably so recently, uh, Johnny, you were actually taken off of uh, piloting your normal skiffs and and the the transport carts and stuff like that for, uh, one day, um, because a new ship came in as a new um, local, basically manager for the corporation on the rock. Um, was brought in. You don't. You didn't even realize the old one had gone, but apparently a new one was brought in, and you were basically his driver that day. And you remember them calling him Mr. Richmond. Oh, yeah. No, I recognize that name. Um, yeah, I drove for him. It was a, it was a tight maneuver. Um, you didn't really get to speak to him directly because you were just, you know, low class driver. There was a divider that they kept up, but. Um, he seemed like a nice individual, short, um, well-groomed, uh, b- uh, black hair, some sort of European descent, you're not sure. Was he followed by a sort of posse? Um, there were other people with him, um, various assistants um, and other uh, other executives and whatnot, probably welcoming, welcoming him to Hygieia. Hmm. Yeah, he, he seems like the, the busybody type pretty high up there um, but uh, security could be could be a risk we should probably play it uh, play it cool does that mean we're going if yeah I, I have no objections but uh, I, d- I doubt he wants to get his hands dirty I'd be interested to know about where the mining equipment got stolen from what they used to slaughter that one Yakuza fella. No offense. Not offense. Uh, he's not good. Uh, we be here only a few days already be attacked. Did uh, did not know uh, Bratva was here. Who? Who was that? Bratva. Bratva. Add a character that, that's a uh, Russian guy. Okay. Is that a Monk name guy. I recognize? Roll a lore for me. Obviously not geology related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've heard of them before. Um, it's it's one of the it's the shortened version of one of the names for basically the Russian mafia. Okay. It's it's the equivalent of calling the. Japanese Mafia, the Yakuza. Uh, the Bratva is just like the shortened version of it because it's actually a much longer, harder to pronounce name. Mm-hmm. Um, up until now, you have not heard of them being on Hygieia. This is new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I stay quiet, but I definitely, there's a bit of a eyebrow raise the name and how long have they been here do you know I do not know uh, we have only been here a short time ourselves we are still uh, getting things organized we show up on the um, ship just uh, after new manager Do uh, any of you have any uh, piloting skills? Oh yeah, that that would be that would be me. Full stop. What do you need? Uh, the uh, travel to the meeting is in uh, other station. Uh, locals call uh, Elysium. Across um, across the asteroid. 
have I been there before? Uh, the um, you not many times. You were there when you dropped off the new manager. Okay. Um, to live on because it's two stations. There's one station on either end of the asteroid. There's Stygia, which is well, they're not actually called Stygia and Elysium. That's just what the locals call them. Um, they're just they're basically just um, station A and station B. But uh, Stygia is like basically where most of the miners and um, other servicemen, maybe even some of the merchants and stuff live day-to-day activities. Whereas Elysium, it's slightly smaller, um, although it's still pretty close in size, but has less than one-tenth of the population as the other station because it's where all the executives and um, money managers as well as probably the the richer shipping merchants and stuff all all live you have to have a certain certain level of income or whatnot to generally even enter the only reason you were allowed in is because you were kind of that uh um uh driver for the day well uh if you need a pilot i'm your man i um am a worried about the transport a lot of people um, seem to be uh, upset at my presence that I might uh, shake things up. I uh, do not uh, know um, safest way across the asteroid. I would assume I've at least studied the maps and recognized the main modes of transportation. Um, would I know of any lesser used routes than any kind of main yep. thoroughfare? Um, there's, I mean, there's the main shaft that runs through the center of the asteroid that was burrowed between the two stations. That's where most of the traffic that would happen between them would happen. Um, that is the most unfortunately open and easily accessible if you were to be ambushed or anything. Um, you know of, I mean, the the asteroid itself is like uh, 500 and something kilometers long. So it's, I mean, it's there's lots of there's lots of little tunnels um, all burrowed throughout. Theoretically, if you were to take your time, you could um, make your way from one end of the asteroid to the other with very little modification using mining tools. Um, the only other way would be to take one of the transport skiffs and actually fly on the outside of the asteroid from one station to the other. Okay. Those are basically the three three main options. Um, I'll, I'll leave it over to Johnny and just say, you know, you always have the, the background. Uh, I have the maps. It'll take us more time, but it will keep us out of the main roads. Yeah, I'd like to avoid the main roads as much as possible. Uh, mm, mm, mm. If you take the tunnels, you do know you're going to have to use what's known as a crawler rather than one of the actual like flying skiffs because mm. it's it's literally it's yeah it's literally like basically like a crawling insect type of machine that you're going to be in because it's going to be going through tunnels. It has a built-in like boring machine on it and whatnot. And uh, what's the difference in speed? I would imagine quite significant. Oh yes. Oh, it'll take you. Um, if you if you just take the central shaft and go straight from one end to the other, um, you're probably you'll be able to make it there in like just a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. Um, going on the outside of the asteroid, um, uh, sorry, it would take you about two and a half hours. Going on the outside of the asteroid probably looks like more of a four-hour trip. Taking the tunnels, you're guessing probably a, probably a 10 to 12 hour trek. When is your meeting? My meeting in uh, uh, 16 hours. Hmm. I mean, we we could risk taking you through uh, some uh, off the beaten path tunnels. Uh, that wouldn't be expecting us to take a different route uh, the main shaft of course would be ambush city uh, going outside though we'd be we'd be in open space uh, that would be that would also be pretty dangerous 
Uh, I have no problem uh, just digging a tunnel. What do you think? Um, I do not know the safest way. Uh, what, uh, whatever your recommendations are. Um, we are new here. But, uh, I mean, safety does seem a key. The uh, central shaft does not sound good. Um, outside, I mean, that would be hard to track. Um, but it is open, as you say. Um, tunnels, uh, not, no, the tunnels collapse. Does the soldier have an opinion as to where we would be ambushed, most likely? It'd probably be coming out of an open spot and into a tight spot. That's where I would do it, because at, at a popular uh, funnel point where it all comes down, narrows it. And I'd also do it further from here, closer to the destination, because that would... Uh, I mean, less uh, chance of a uh, backup being able to respond to assist. The other downfall, you know, um, especially uh, especially Johnny and, and Stephen, um, I guess I guess all of you to a degree is um, the skiffs. Uh, with enough money, anyone can basically um, have one of the skiffs for a short period of time. Uh, the mining crawlers, however, are all owned by the corporation and generally need to be signed out for a specific job and or, or, or are assigned for a specific job. And that, so, would, that wouldn't be too difficult for someone uh, uh, with, my, uh, with my classification. You just, you, just, you just have a feeling that it might be, it might take a little bit of maybe verbal finagling to actually get one. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh no, I, I didn't really have much to say. As uh, Dwayne's kind of mentioning where he would picture these uh, spots, um, can I do my visual memory of the main thoroughfare to recognize about how many of these pinch points there might be, or at least try to get an idea of how, uh, if that's going to be the case, again, going off of what our specialist is saying. Um, I do have a stunt as well. Yeah, the I've seen these tunnels. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so you can, it's as if you're seeing it in real time, even though it's in mem memory. Um, okay, uh, so you spend, a, you spend a fate point and then you're making a single roll to find things that if you, as if you were still in the location. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, I yeah, want to get an idea of, okay, if we're going to go the main thoroughfare, how many opportunities will this kind of trap occur? Okay, so spend a fate point. Um, go ahead and roll an investigation. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jiminy. Um, that's going, yeah, that's, that's going to succeed with style. So I'm going to give you some info on that one. Um, okay. <clears throat> so in that case, you're not, you're pretty sure you know of which ones are stable. Cause in this, in the asteroid, it's not un uncommon that as the asteroids being honeycombed and hollowed out, that some of them occasionally do collapse or crush. Um, but you know of some ones that have, um, recently bored through some iron deposits that would be extra stable and extra firm um and you think you can actually instead of it being a 10 to 12 hours you think you can solidly make it more like a 9 to 10 hour trek and there's uh there's one point where you're going to have to sort of come out to the main shaft and then go back in through one of the side tunnels again that's probably the one of the more dangerous points, but other than that, it seems like you'd probably be pretty tucked away and hard to pin down. Um, of course, as you the only the only other major point you'd have to worry about is when you um, at the end when you rejoin the main shaft again to or the outside in order to actually get to the station. So those are your two main points as far as you're concerned that are probably the riskiest as far as uh, where it sort of narrows that you, you kind of have to go, like there's no other tunnels that connect. Okay. Well, 
but um, I could probably call in a favor. Um, I could definitely get a miner, and that way we have we have the safest route. Make sure you get there okay. And uh, yeah, I, I actually, so what is the best form of distant uh, communication? Are there phones? Is there um, there is a interconnected there's there is a communication system um it's like wired um that's wired throughout as well as as well as wireless if you're near the stations it doesn't reach very far um you i mean when you're in the meat of the asteroid like the miners you're just basically completely cut off and there's like no way to communicate to the outside uh, but to communicate with the stations, there's like console terminals throughout the area that you tend to um, are able to access. Okay. Uh, and the so, corp probably can hear everything that gets said through those. And the mm -hmm. you're you're unsure, you're not too sure. The um, the other station, Elysium, as far as you know, has a stronger broadcasting antenna, and they all carry around some sort of personal devices with them. But your side does not have that. Okay, well, knowing knowing that, uh, they would probably be listening in. Um, I guess we're going to have to see this guy face to face. Uh, I don't want anybody, any prying ears getting in there. I don't want to lose my job over this. You understand. Oh, of course. Uh, Johnny, so... I may know of some new tunnels. They've been uh, buttering out some new iron deposits. It might be possible that I could requisition a vehicle for uh, more in-depth studies and say that you are my crew. That's that's actually perfect. That saves me uh, saves me a favor. Uh, yeah, well, I'll I'll follow your lead. You you show me the X. I'll I'll dig the tunnel. Most of the tunnels should be dug. There might be a few points where we have to re-enter the main thoroughfare, and beyond that, it should be fairly stable and allow us to travel at a quicker rate, perhaps saving a few hours if we were doing it ourselves. And you're sure it's safe? I'm sure. It's one of the strongest uh, tunnels there are. Again, these deposits seem to be quite large. Okay. Well, it sounds like uh, we'll need some time to prepare. Uh, where should we meet? Mr. Mr. Kato. Uh, well, uh, where is um, best to meet uh, you? Uh, should we meet here? Uh, should we meet uh, at the place, uh, the mining depot for the, the vehicle? So all of us... Uh, I, I would suggest that we uh, we meet up at the mining vehicle itself because then your boys can escort you as far as that. Then we can take over and get you to your meeting. Plus then, you know, nobody yeah. necessarily knows right where you're going right off the bat. There's a general sort of like industrial parking lot area where a lot of the machines are parked in between job okay uh, so might, s might I ask you a, a question Mr. Kanto what are you currently riding around in your current transportation uh, so, uh, we are currently riding around in a uh, small craft uh, uh, but I have on loan for uh, one more day is it something that people have seen you and recognize to be yours? Uh, possibly. Uh, no, not the many of you uh, have uh, these um, small uh, tracked uh, crafts. Uh, most of you are uh, walk. Hmm. I'm thinking if it might be possible to uh, keep that ride moving on along while we do our trip. It might keep some of those prying eyes on the wrong location. Uh, we could, uh, I could get some of my men to, uh, drive it around. I'm sure they would not object to a free uh, joyride. That might be quite wise, I 
What are you voicing? It is a small uh, four-wheeled cart with uh, tinted windows. Yeah, no, that sounds good. Send out a send out a, <clears throat> a a decoy while we while we uh, forgive my phrasing. Get the package to delivery. Kato would uh, would actually give a bit of a chuckle at that. He seemed to he seemed to like that reference. <laughs> well, unless anybody has any uh, details that need to be ironed out, uh, we should get our contract sorted. Good. Uh, I will uh, meet you um, in the how long? Um, how long would it take to requisition uh, a form? Would you say, Stephen? Hmm. Gotta check in, get my report. I could probably get it within a few hours if I have the right person to talk to. They leave me on my business for the most part. So yes, you're you're thinking between the one to two Sorry, hour marks then. So, uh, Stephen, uh, to see if there, you know exactly who you need to go to talk to for this, I'm going to get you to make a contact roll. All right. Wonderful. Oof. Um, you're not really sure who to talk to at this point that's sort of fast track it. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to go through the normal channels, you're worried you might not be able to get it for a day or two. Because there's there's not a ton of these vehicles going out all at once. And usually, you're you know weeks ahead of time when you're actually specifically going out for for prospecting or whatever. Well, if you're unsure, I'm sure I could uh, I could at least drop your name, get get somebody to, to sign the form. I'll go to now it. you're you're currently failing. If you would like to, um, if there's a aspect you think would help, you could try to do like a reroll, like invoke it. Also, if you would like to succeed at a major cost. Yeah, I think I want to invoke my the, the quiet geologist again. I have a feeling while I haven't had to rush through here, you know, I still have my contacts of when that one tunnel that I'm really interested comes up and I really need to get out there right then that I go through them instead of necessarily the normal direct channels. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you're using a, a fate point, and um, yeah, you can either add plus two or re-roll. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead since it's not... I'm going to just pl add plus two. Plus two? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. There, There isn't anyone working specifically today... But you, um, at one point, you were kind of sort of schmoozing up the one secretary for the office. And al although you really haven't been on any, like, dates or anything like that, you are on very friendly terms. And you think if you give her a call that you could probably get her to maybe fast track some, go in on her off day to fast track some paper. Is there I will um, give, give her any a name. contact or any like phone or anything within the, the bar? Uh, there's a terminal in the bar, yes. Okay. Actually, there's two terminals within the bar. Um, you know that uh, one, um, because you guys are locals, you know about this. There's the official terminal in the bar, and then you're pretty sure... And you're not 100% it's still there, but you're pretty sure there's one in the back that um, Mac Malone keeps that's wired on more of a private frequency. Or an unregistered frequency. Um, I'm going to excuse myself to use the facilities and, and make my way to the official terminal. The regular okay. one. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, you get you get over to the channel itself, um, and it's got the usual smiling, happy face on it, um, with the uh, Habibi Terra 
corporation logo underneath it as well as the name uh and as you approach uh you hear the welcome just kind of shake my head how can i help you today call we'll say her name's charlotte <clears throat> call charlotte calling charlotte now ring 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 is anybody else well we're waiting go and then like an advert and like an advertisement suddenly starts playing while you're waiting um for for like a shoe corporation or something like that um and then uh, the call says it's been answered but you need to wait till the advertisement finishes mm-hmm. and then you wait that few extra seconds and finally the advertisement <laughs> goes away and you see her like in the phone going hello hello mm. <laughs> Charlotte, you there? Is that you? Uh, t- turn on the light, dear. I can't quite see you. It's Steven. Oh, oh, of, of course. And she, like, turns on the light and you see, like, she's, like, she's wearing not very much. Mm-hmm. Ah, I, I kind of walk a bit closer to, to the screen. Uh, very well, dear. I, I, I am at the at the bar, just so you're aware. So listen, oh, I can be there in just a few minutes. But perhaps, perhaps uh, that, that, that actually might not be bad. I mean, I'm having a bit of a, a meeting with with the boys tonight, so perhaps uh, in, in a few hours. Anyways, hey, I, I wanted to reach out to you. I was I was looking over some of my notes. You know, those new tunnels are digging down there in uh, section uh, 67. I, I, okay. I have that itch, yeah. you know, that 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 there's just something. Just something out there, and I was thinking about uh, possibly heading out there tomorrow to get a better study. I, I know they weren't planning on having uh, sending anyone out until next week, but y- you know I have that uh, that tingling, you know, when you, you know that tingling. I've had it before. Uh, I I know tingling, and maybe not maybe not that one. Hmm. Uh, um. Oh yeah. Um. I I guess I I mean I could try to I could probably try to do how how fast. Do you, do you need this? Oh dear, as, as, as fast as you can, and, and I guarantee we, we will have drinks and, and until it's it's done. Whatever you need. Oh, that, that does sound nice. Okay, tell you what, yeah, you, you owe me an official date. How about that? I, I'm going to finally pin you down, mister. That sounds good. You let me go and do this study, and I promise I will clear a complete day for you, and I will take you out to that, uh, that lovely little shining tunnel that, I, that we've been working on in uh, Section 32. I bring a bit of wine, and it, it'll be a great little uh, little date. A, a picnic. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's strange. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's okay. Oh, yeah. Charlotte, you, you haven't I, been I talking do, to me because I'm normal. I gotta pick up some food rations anyways, so I guess I could stop at the office. Um, I can probably, I was going to, you know what, I might as well do it right now. I'm not doing anything anyways. But yeah, I can do that. I'll, uh, I guess just uh, cover up a bit, okay. (laughs) The the paperwork will be done for you. You can, um, yeah, I can have it done for you within like the hour. I should get there pretty soon, and I've already got some forms half filled out, to make my job easier, anyways. It's pre-fill them out, and I, I know the boss's signature pretty well. I'm, don't don't tell anybody that, of course. <laughs> of course not. Uh, but I, I think I can do that. Sure. I appreciate that, darling. Don't. Uh, and you can just uh, you can just go and and pick it up. Uh, just wait a little over an hour, and you should be you should be okay for your little nerdy adventure <laughs> uh, many things don't worry be prepared for that uh, that date i'll make it exquisite for you oh i better be it better be and with that she just hangs up mm-hmm. kind of look around a little bit to see if anyone was watching and like kind of that's a good point that might be a new aspect off yeah <laughs> <sighs> and walk back to the group. All right, boys. Uh, vehicle will be ready for us in a little while, so this uh, this trip, we've got it covered. Are, are you okay? You're looking a little hot under the collar. Oh, 
fine. Yeah, just, just, just fine. Yep. Yeah, I know that look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking Prospero's like, I know that look. I saw that seven years ago. <laughs> I haven't seen it in seven years, but... Oh, uh, uh, did they give? Uh, did they give any ticket? Paperwork should be ready within a few hours. The vehicle will be ready. That's, that's perfect. Um, uh, if there's anything you need to prepare, to prepare. Well, I guess I should probably change clothes. Got some some singes. Oh yeah, yeah your collar. Bam, where I'm going. Got a little, got a little acid burn on your collar there, Dwayne. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. I would offer you clothes, but uh, the only uh, clothes we are uh, bringing for my men do not appear to be of uh, your style. Where's my character sheet? Can I add another flaw? That's young, dumb, and full of cum. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Okay. No, I, uh, frustration. No, I mean, like, uh, it, I'm, I'm still a, a young guy. I probably have uh, some nice, rather tacky, cheap sort of duds. That's that's the that's what gangsters wear on uh, on jobs, right? So I'm thinking I have like a very cheap suit that'll, that'll head home and put on because you see even his thugs even the ones that like aren't wearing shirts or they're wearing like a muscle shirt type thing I still have like dress pants on because you figure there's probably another half <laughs> there's like a jacket or... alright yeah it's alright I'll just change it to something serviceable Yeah, um, I mean, you guys will have like as much as you probably mostly for the most part wear like utility jumpsuits and shit like that. You have other civilian clothes as well for your off times. Um, even then, they tend to be more uh, function over over like style. But you probably you probably have if you want anything really like nice or swanky to sort of match. Hitoshi, I'd make you probably roll resources for it, but if you just want something that's not, you know, a plain brown or gray jumpsuit, then uh, I would say that you'd, you'd have some regular people clothes. Uh, so with that, you've kind of got a, a mission that you're going to be going on. Um, you know that you're gonna, you've got most of the resources you all already need, although some of you might want to just wrap a few things up before you leave. Uh, so with that, I think we're pretty much gonna close up for the night, and next session we will deal with you transporting a Yakuza mob boss. Sweet. Excellent. Well, that was not where I expected the night to end, but I'm done with that. Yeah, especially... I the servers are going a bit right now they yeah. seem to be yeah I wasn't entirely sure where we were going to go with that I have a bunch of different ideas written down <laughs>